Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. I'm getting ready to bring you guys a light workers read. I have not done one in a while, um, but since I do run a community called the Light Workers Society, I want to give a message just for you guys. All right, so um, remember that um, we're all on different timelines, so this story may not be yours at the moment, or it may be your whole goddamn story. But however, right, just stay in a positive mindset. Um, make sure you breathe in and breathe out, okay? And if you're not feeling like you vibing at a high vibration right now, um, or even just mellow, yeah, step away and then come back, okay? Because <laughs> energy is very fluid and um, we all pick up on that, all right? So as a light worker, you already know how this works, okay? Now, y'all, I may say this is your energy, but it's your person's energy. Flip the roles as you see fit, all right? I may... Um, <clears throat> say uh he or she and really technically i mean i know it's masculine and feminine energy right but sometimes because of habit you tend to say it right or if i'm reading a card or looking at a card it might actually be a man on there right but um please don't get offended um just flip the roles how you see fit all right you guys now i'm gonna set my intentions before i get started so we can be on the same page energetically here Thank you, my angelic guys. Thank you, Holy Spirit, first and foremost. Thank you for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to come in with you. I ask that you close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of these readings. Thank you for protecting me from any psychic attacks and any negative energies being projected towards me. I also ask that you close all communication to anyone who's not in alignment with me. Thank you for using me as the messenger and speaking through me so loud and clearly for my light workers tonight and so it is all right y'all this is just a general energy update don't forget to like subscribe and share if you feel in my vibe all right now sometimes i do cut y'all it depends on who my spirit team is at the moment because sometimes it may come out raw and uncut all right so i'm warning you <laughs> but most for the most part i'm pretty uh wholesome <laughs> thank you what is the message that you have for my light workers <clears throat> I'm using this deck called um, Goddess Within Me. So it was a very small deck. Um, <clears throat> I don't have the main card though. It's called the Goddess. Uh, okay, it's called This Black Goddess Within. Thank you. Look, I'm supposed to promote them here because the card came right out. All right, so this is what it looks like. And basically, um, this deck was uh, made by what is her name dr g okay dr g at giovanni at rhythm quest dot us all right so i'll put her information below but you can even just look up www.blackgoddesswithin.com again it's a very small deck but it still has some very powerful messages um in them <clears throat> i think i may have paid like 30 something dollars for it but Thank you. What is the message that you have for my light workers? <clears throat> All right, so the Ashanti, which is Ghana, okay? Earth Mother Goddess is who Asaya is, rightfully honored, re uh, revered, and celebrated in the fields. She asks us to consider what an exquisite self-care practice allows us to cultivate. So worship your inner goddess without apology. Wow. So that's the card, all right? Now, that's a good way to start off here. But of course, y'all already know, I'm going to ask some questions about why we are told to do this at this moment, okay? So let's see. Who do I want to jump to? Here we go. Thank you, that's very good. Why? What is this message about? Can you elaborate here? Break down this story for us. Thank you so much. So, the full card. So, what's happening here? This is really all about your new beginning, okay? And right now, it may seem as though um, there's some stagnation when it comes to that, all right? Um, whether this is you, whether this is someone else here, pretty much. Hold on for one second. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, my son, y'all, on that video game. So, pretty much here, um, <clears throat> someone's holding back, right? Someone within your situation is holding you back, it feels like, from you getting to this new beginning here that you hope for, right? Whether it's in romance, whether it's in uh, a relationship, whether it's in um, a career, but something feels like you are at a standstill. Now, pretty much, I have the Ace of Swords, the Magician, okay, and the High Front. All of these cards are in the reverse, y'all. Um, but pretty much the Ace of Swords is just saying, like, someone is very clouded in their judgment, all right? But the thing about this is, it's almost as if you or your person here is exploring what they wish. You know how you want to manifest something, you, you're thinking about it, um, but really struggling to see the progress because it seems like every time you actually, you know, put one foot out there, something happens, right? And then it's like, damn, my, my manifestation got blocked again, or it's, it's a delay or something here that's stopping me from being able to move forward here. All right. So this is why, um, I'm picking up someone has been rethinking or, um, an idea or even just clouded in their judgment about that idea. Okay. But it, it comes to making some type of decision. All right, so whatever this decision is that you have to make, maybe you have been putting on a blindfold because you ain't want to make a decision. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like sometimes you feel like, all right, it's going to end up leading to some type of negative consequence here. But what um, my spirit guides are telling you is that you have to listen to your intuition about this decision. All right, so trust what you know to be true, y'all. I'm sorry, my son is not about to ruin this for me. So one second. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> He lucky. He ran in that bathroom, y'all. <clears throat> so he shut that door right when I <laughs> almost got close to it. So he might come out and make some more loud noise because he got the headphones on um, for the video game. So he he can't really hear how elevated his voice is. On top of that, he has high frequency hearing loss. Um, when he was three, he had a brain tumor. So from the chemo and the radiation, it pretty much um caused him to lose hearing. But um, however, he's 20 now. He about to be 21 july the third but um yes he is definitely blessed and called for something great but right now as you can see as a 20 year old yeah they have no regards whatsoever but <laughs> i'm gonna keep going spirit is saying here to listen to your intuition about making this decision whether this is you or your person your person could be listening to their intuition now about making this decision because of the fact that they did not take that chance here right because they were being rebellious all right because i got the higher front here in the reverse you know not really taking their own lessons that they had you know how you got stuff you go through and um you're supposed to learn from it yeah and you're supposed to go back to your book of life here and be like hold up let me go back and look at this and see what i did to get through that all right so i can learn so i won't do it again all right and they weren't doing that they weren't being their own best teacher here <laughs> when it comes to the situation or this could be you you know sorry if this is you, I mean, like, like I said, my spirit guys will come out and tell you how it is. All right. Now, thank you. <clears throat> right. This could be a missed opportunity here. All right. So this definitely could be a missed opportunity or, you know, you want to grow. You want to expand. You want to be able to go towards a new beginning for yourself here and start something new. Whatever this is, it's like you're feeling like this could be a missed opportunity here, right? You didn't get any rewards from all of the work that you put in. You put in some effort into this here and you didn't get to the expansion that you were hoping to get to because of um, sometimes when you don't realize how powerful you are um, and how much you can literally manifest the life that you desire for yourself you tend to like stay in this mindset of being stuck and this is what i'm picking up right instead of getting these new ideas or the mental clarity about this situation someone here is clouded in their judgment and it has a lot to do with them not truly knowing um who they are or how powerful they are here okay now <clears throat> 
Hmm. You know, it's a certain process that you have to follow um, when you are a light worker, it seems like, right? It's a spiritual journey. You know, some uh, most of us light workers come with a twin. You know, we got twin flames here, right? And and most of us divine feminines are literally, I mean, we are soaring. We're going towards the light and we're embracing who we are, but our divine counterparts are um, kind of still lagging behind trying to get it, right? Not realizing who they truly are, right? We have established who our most authentic selves um, are at this point. And this is where I'm getting this. Worship your inner goddess without apology. Worship who you are, okay? Because you have um, elevated tremendously in your spiritual journey here is where I'm, I'm picking up with spirit. It's like you have done an excellent goddamn job, <laughs> okay? Mastering self-love, your healing, um, and keep working on your divine purpose. You've been doing everything that spirit has been calling you to do. And regardless of what it is that you're seeing here in your 3D, you're still pushing through. You're still not falling short. You're still not questioning God. You just continue to just like everything is working out for my highest good. And you're moving forward, right? And this is how it's supposed to be. You're moving into a state of trusting at this point, right? You're trusting this whole spiritual journey. Um, now, <clears throat> I have the Eight of Cups here next to this Seven of Swords. But the thing is with this, right? Someone... <sighs> definitely feels disappointed right now all right so either it's to a point of um maybe you have withdrawn your energy from a situation because it's not going the way that you want here um or whoever you're connected to here is compelled to really walk away from their situations here jayma please please thank you are really getting ready to walk away from um, a disappointing situation here. And what they're doing, wow. Y'all, they walking away from this disappointing situation, but it's like they're sneaking away from it. Okay, so whatever is happening, and if this, this is your person, they're sneaking away from a disappointing situation here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this dude grabbing his bags, grabbing his swords here and sneaking away like, all right, I'm going to try to get out of here real quick, right? Now, <clears throat> yeah, someone, it's almost as if they like a thief in the night over this mug, all right? Someone getting to change up, but someone is getting ready to change up a situation um, here because it's disappointing. Um, whatever happened here. It has definitely caused a lot of disappointment. This is where the stuck energy is coming in at. All right. Now, it's, oh, okay. Now, this is impulsive energy I'm picking up here. But there's a page of pinnacles. And when the page of pinnacles come out, it's almost as if when you look at him, he's looking up at the pinnacles as if he's looking or thinking of offering something here. Okay, so pretty much, again, it's going back to your ability to manifest, all right? This is about skill development here, okay? Tapping into your own ability here to reach a personal goal. And this is what you have to do. But with this page of pinnacles that's coming out, it's almost to say as if, Hey, someone finally got it. Okay, finally got the fact that, you know, they have the motivation to turn whatever it is that they desire for themselves in this situation here into reality. Why? Because things didn't come full circle here. There's no closure. Okay, and that needs to happen in order for you to be able to reach a particular milestone that you may have for yourself, whether it's marriage, whether it's children, whether it's graduating, you know, whatever this is, it has to come full circle here. And now, okay, where this was an idea in either you or your person here or whoever this is that you're connected to, whatever this situation is about, you know, right? You put it how it fits in your story here. Um weren't able to get this idea off the ground now it's like i got the motivation to do this i have the motivation now i have this personal um goal that i want to manifest here and i want to reach it because it's about me accomplishing something here in my life it's about me reaching a particular milestone here okay where before you were, or you or your um 
this person here that you're connected to here um, or the situation here wasn't allowing you to get to that point or they weren't taking some particular action that you needed in order to complete this. And I'm, uh, what's coming in is, is the masculine energy, okay? So this is definitely either if you're masculine, this is you, or um, if you're feminine, this is your person. Okay, now the King of Cups is coming in here and they're in the upright position, which is an excellent thing here because the King of Cups here knows they about their business here. Okay, they about their business here, um, their responsibilities, all of that ambitious. Some of them are skilled labor. So, you know, if you're masculine, you may be a skilled labor here. But the thing is, I got stuff beeping on all ends. I got two phones, y'all. One my business phone and one is a personal. I'm going to put this on vibrate here because we're going to get this good old message out here yeah, today, y'all. Thank you for being patient throughout some of these interruptions I got going on. All right, now with this masculine energy previously before, they were a very selfish man or woman, okay? The king of pentacles, king of uh, cups here is a man on the card. So you understand why it came out that way, y'all. Sorry. I know, I know, I know you guys understand, but sometimes it always be that one, y'all. It always be that one that like to leave that little nice little comment. Like, you just throwing all the vibes off here. Like, we just don't know. But however, okay, now, tell us about this King of Cups here. Look, the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So, I'm off the back. This y'all. Because this you and your person here. Both coming up right. Your person's getting ready to try to offer you something here. And you're looking at this offer that they're getting ready to send you. You're just looking at it just like. <laughs> Look at the Queen of Pentacles on you. Like, do I need this? <laughs> do I really need this offer? Like, I'm already abundant. I'm already, I got everything I need, right? But the Queen of Pentacles, you know, you definitely are a great balance. You create a healthy balance for this masculine, all right? Now, <clears throat> whether this is your divine counterpart here, your twin flame or not, but you create a healthy balance for this person. And your person has a lot of fear when it comes to you because you are the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Because you have it all, <laughs> They have to turn that caring energy, right, and love and all of that stuff inside themselves because they literally have the power to create exactly what you have for yourself here, okay? Now, that's where all of this fear comes in at. They're literally on a mental um, mm, mental overload. Now, y'all, you guys are not together. <clears throat> I'm picking up that um, you are both in your solitude or you are both single, Okay. Now, your um your person here, they allow they allow negativity to really cloud their judgment. That's where it comes in at. All right? That that sets in, okay? And it becomes so overwhelming for them that they cannot see clearly. All right? It messes with their whole mental state, y'all. Spirit is also telling me like this is like um this is something here that really needs um to be addressed for your person or if you masculine this is something that you need to check into when that mindset sets in pay attention to it because your higher self is telling you what needs to be healed in your life all right because it takes away from your willpower and it makes you i don't want to say weak but i got the strength card here in the reverse so what it does is it makes you use your power wrong or it makes you have a lack of will to actually manifest what it is that you desire for yourself here. All right, now, <clears throat> wow, thank you. That's a lot. <clears throat> what are they lacking the strength to do here, Spirit? Thank you. What are they lacking the strength to do here, Spirit? <clears throat> To do all right so pretty much here so as i know my fellow light workers this is definitely not feminine energy this is all your person okay your person pretty much here wants to um they've been very resilient okay i'm gonna put it that way right but the thing is is that it's a lot of challenges that are going on around them it's a very competitive environment here 
and what I'm getting here is like they they're getting ready to lay some burdens down here or they, they want to lay some burdens down here because it could be some competition or, or it could be something that's happening here that's challenging your position if that makes sense someone covets or people covet what you have and what you have with this person here all right so it's it's creating a competitive environment and um at this point here your person definitely is prepared to fight they're prepared to fight for whatever it is that you guys have going on here they want to lay these burdens down because this is at a point here where whatever situation is that they are dealing with all right it's a heavy weight on them it weighs them down your person is exhausted look at this they're exhausted they're trying to be resilient here but and have the courage to be able to move on but they're on the edge someone here if this is not your person energy you could be exhausted by whatever is taking place here okay but at the same time it's like that exhaustion is there but still ready to take on whatever these adversities are all right so at first they were struggling all right definitely feeling set back but now it's like okay i have this step back but the resiliency kicks in okay the resiliency kicks in and it's like all right now now i'm ready to fight now i'm ready to fight all this competition that's around me all of this uh conflict that i'm encountering whatever the adversity is i'm still ready to fight i still got one last one left all right now thank you tell me more about oh yeah so somebody is literally delaying the inevitable okay because of juggling all right so when you got so much that you have to do you know you got to make some decisions the two of uh, pentacles really talks about making decisions and choices right it's also about communication as well so um, you could be juggling finances. You could be juggling your time. You know what I'm saying? Resources, energy, people, whatever it is that you're juggling here, right? You are delaying to do something when it comes to this because the tower hasn't yet hasn't yet fallen, okay? Because this is in the reverse, all right? So your person may be trying to avert some type of disaster here or some type of sudden change that will lead to a disaster, or that will lead to some type of ending here or failure right now they're questioning their belief systems i'm getting or their values however it is they're questioning that all right because they know that they have to go on to some type of new spiritual path now even when i tell you like if we're talking about a twin flame situation here this is usually how it happens the masculine energy fights the the path literally fights the spiritual path and they want to go the other direction they run why because you have to face yourself and all of these insecurities here and the fear and the anxiety that your person has operating in that reckless behavior here, they have to begin to change. All right, so this is about them delaying that change. Thank you. Because they usually take here and they overindulge, especially when it comes to physical pleasures. I don't know what that's about. It's temperance. Temperance card is in the reverse. The balance needs to be restored to the situation here. Okay. Your person may be getting ready to try to do some things in moderation here or whoever this whatever the situation is is about to happen where you you know someone is going to try to um come back in i don't want to say slowly but you know how you do it in moderation you don't do it in excess now they're coming in again as a knight of cups so again the offer someone's getting ready to offer you something here but it's a night energy so again it's it's going to be done in moderation this is not something that's going to become straight out like bam you know how you go from um washing dishes to uh, to a freaking manager you understand or you go from being a friend to marry yeah it's it's going to build up to those steps you know following a certain process here okay so they're moving slow they're moving gracefully about this here um is what i'm getting when it comes to this thank you but in reality here they literally uh they thrive off of you it's they're inspired by you okay um thank you it's you that helps them to continue to move forward is what i'm getting 
your inspiration, your creativity, whatever it is that you're doing here. It's like, I'm, I'm also picking up, they watch you. All right, this is why they want to literally work on, wow, work on this situation here, okay? They want to actually really apply themselves to be able to manifest this, all right? Or, you know, you want to do that. But however, in the meantime, Spirit is saying again, worship your inner goddess without apologizing. Be you. Be your most authentic self here. Shine. All right? Even when it comes to your person here, your person may be getting ready to worship you without apology here, <laughs> where before they were denying the connection, denying, you know how they do, because of their setbacks is like, well, maybe we're not supposed to do this. Maybe we're not supposed to be partners. Maybe we're not supposed to be lovers. Maybe we, you know, coming up with all types of excuses, but now it's like, light bulbs go off. I now know I have the tools at my fingertips to manifest what it is that I desire. Hold up. I have these setbacks here and <clears throat> all of them were what personal setbacks and they felt like a failure of course and it's creating a lot of worries because everything that they've done is because they didn't learn the lessons and now they're reaping uh the rewards of that <laughs> whether it's good or bad you know you know how karma comes back and collects so that's what's happening here okay now um <clears throat> they're wary a lot you know, that it may not work out, that the situation may end in some type of failure here, okay? Um, because they usually are very risky in their behavior. So that's the aspect of them that they need to grow up and become that king, you know, um, <clears throat> and move from that knight energy into the king energy here. Now, I do have a king of wands, which is interesting because your, um, this person is masculine energy here has a plan. All right, and they're getting ready to take charge of this, whatever this plan is. All right, at first they weren't ready to step into this world, but let me show you, they're coming in now as a as a natural born leader. Okay, natural. The one um, king of one does represent a fire sign. Um, doesn't have to be your person could have, or you could have fire sign in your place, like sun, moon, or rising. But however, here they have a very clear vision of what it is, and they're not telling you about it. They've gained the clarity here where at first they had a lot of fear and um, anxiety about it. But now this is something here that they could be not necessarily speaking on or telling you about it or doing something in secret. What is this about? Great. Why is this card in reverse? Okay, so what they're, what they're not telling... It's whoever this high priestess is in reverse. Remember I said somebody's sneaking away from a situation. <laughs> yeah. I said your person, your person, person is sneaking away from something with that seven of swords. And they're walking away from something that's no longer serving them, right? Because whatever happened, that situation is a disappointing situation. And it's a high priestess that came out. And this is what they've gained some type of clarity or understanding on. And also what is probably being withheld information about, yeah, someone's getting ready to jump ship or, you know, however it goes. All right. So the high priestess in the reverse, of course, you know, um, is someone who doesn't operate in the light. Just put it that way. They got a lot of hidden motives, a lot of hidden intentions. Um very very intuitive all right but yeah it'll be some conflict when i tell you this is why they where they're at because it's going to be some conflict here and that's about the competition that came out earlier y'all okay um <clears throat> the conflict is going to happen like spirit is speaking wow the conflict will happen because of the fact that they're not being recognized they didn't reach Whatever this personal milestone that they had for your your person, all right? Or for you, if you're the masculine energy. This is why, okay? And on top of the fact that you're trying to keep... Woo, you're trying to keep this to yourself. 
all right or your person is trying to keep this to themselves this vision they're not they're not including this person this high priestess in reverse in this vision okay so they don't know but the thing is about the high priestess the high priestess knows right doesn't say anything just sit back and wait for the information to come out here but the high priestess knows but your person may think that they don't know okay now <clears throat> something is going to happen here all right so it may seem like you know things are at a standstill and things aren't moving forward within this situation here but in reality um, your person may be moving really fast with this. I mean, trying to get out of there quickly. All right. It's no real plan, right? They're coming in as a king of swords. So yeah, they're coming in here. They're rational and they alert about this shit. But this like king of swords, y'all know, is just like the queen of swords. Ain't taking no cutting shit out, ending stuff. It's just setting boundaries, cutting it out very firm um, about what it is that you want and how and how you want it very direct in communication ain't sugarcoating nothing okay so they're coming in here as a king of swords so this may be what the energy is um on how they're going to actually you know sneak out of here where they really shouldn't be in that deceptive energy still they this is all a part of that ego thinking here what they really should be doing here um is uh being upfront you know being honest keeping that karma clear um, so that they won't keep recreating the same situations here. Now, your person literally is moving towards you because you're the one who they have this emotion for. Okay, so the emotion is with you here. All right, but it just seems as though, right, they don't have any control right now. All right, so this is where, like I said, it's just like you got to move in, right? But they feel like they don't have any control and it's not anything to do with you. It's about the conflict that's taking place here. But they are releasing or reevaluating here what's most important to them. All right. So, yeah. And they're realizing here, right, that it's the past that's holding them back. It, that's the barrier here. That's the barrier to their future success because they keep clinging to past and outdated habits, past lovers, past people, situations that just don't serve them no more. And here you are sitting here as a queen of cups, all right, full of love, full of emotion, balance, bringing balance to this person's life, right? Highly intuitive. Y'all have a very, very good relationship and you offer wisdom, okay? So they're, they're reevaluating this and they're seeing this and they're realizing that their habits here is not the way that's not going to make them happy no more because now they're paying the consequences for the, their behaviors look because the justice card is here so it was definitely some shit happening all right because they've done a lot of immoral things all right some stuff that you've seen some stuff that you haven't seen here but they've done a lot of immoral things and now spirit is like you know decisions have to be made all right and we're going to make sure that these decisions are fair and just why because yeah this is a spiritual union this is a divine partner that you're dealing with here okay thank you and they have ego problems thank you <laughs> my spirit team is funny <laughs> look they got ego problems straight king of wands in the reverse spirit said don't forget to say that they are non-committal <laughs> and they always swing in that wand in the wrong fucking direction yes they're unsure on how to channel their energy here, and that's what it is. That's why they can be frustrated or just impulsive here, but it just has a lot to do with that inner child work that needs to be done. They need to work on those childhood traumas here because they are blocked in their happiness here, and they struggle to see the brighter side. This is why they're so clouded and distorted in their energy here, or in their thinking, or or even in their path um, is also what I'm picking up. Wow. Y'all worship your inner goddess without apology worship your inner god without apology so that's even if you are masculine all right look at this so it's just more of defeated energy so they're tired of really arguing for real that's why they don't want to deal with the conflict because it don't get nowhere so it's like they keep arguing with um whoever this person is in this third party situation here and they're not getting nowhere there's no resolution here. This is why, this is why your person or you 
are sneaking away from this situation. Thank you, Spirit. This is why you're not telling. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Because whoever this person is, that your person is attached to here, my fellow light worker, is a queen of swords in the reverse. That person is reckless with their mouths. They allow the emotions to get the best of them. They just argue many, right? It's like they fight for the for the death of them, for real. It's like, nah, I'm winning. Regardless, I don't care. At the stake of who, I'm winning, right? It don't matter, right? But look at this. The empress in the reverse. This is someone also that they may have a family with or a child by. You know what I'm saying? But the page of cups is in between that. Okay, so something's going to come here out of the blue. When it comes to this person, it's going to end. Damn. The death card right there, y'all. It's going to end. This queen of swords. This queen of swords may come at your person with all that emotional, reckless energy here. But out of the blue, your person will go into what well, is masculine energy here. will go into the king of swords energy and end it. Damn. Why? Because it's too much. This Empress in reverse is just too emotional here, too insecure here, just too much, right? So this this is someone, you know, that they could have a family by. All right, and this person also portrayed to be a Empress in the upright or a Divine Feminine, but in reality, that was a front hit. Thank you, that's what Spirit was saying. They wore a mask and now um, the mask is off. All right, so whatever happened between your person and this person here, your person now can see the truth. This is why they're in the King of Swords energy here. This is why this will be the death of that connection. All right, and be because of that ending here, it, it's, it's going to be unexpected here. But because of that ending here <clears throat> and they're guarding their energy here and they're doing their own reflection, self-reflection on their own selves here, okay, they're going to offer, here we go, pentacles. Look at this, judgment. All of these cards. They're going to offer here something um, more tangible, more abundant, you know, that will bring uh, changes. And these are good changes, all right? These are good changes. But the trumpet had to blow here because the divine is like, you know, that's it with this. This situation has to end. Y'all have to get in alignment. There's a contract that's made. And as light workers, what are we supposed to do? Be shedding our light, shining our light all over the world, helping people to raise their vibrations, right? And connecting to their higher selves and helping humanity. You know, we got stuff that we got to do. We can't be all connected to karmic energies or situations here. So whatever this is, if this is not a person for you, this could be a karmic situation. It could be a work-related situation and you're dealing with someone um, who's a boss. You understand that may be a mother figure, you know? So just put it how it goes for you and your story. It could be a family member here that could be a sister, you know, or a mother. Put it how it goes here, right? But the gift, it's a gift. This is a gift that's getting ready to be offered to you um, that's leading to your new be beginning. Whatever is happening here is being discussed here in a family room, which could be a living room, all right? But it's a place where you come together and you have a social, you socialize, right? You sit down, you socialize. It could be, um, shoot, it can be even when I, I keep here in a hotel, I don't know, but it could be somewhere where you can just literally socialize with someone, a private space, right? Now, tell me about this. Tell me about this guy. <clears throat> Ooh, don't fall. Look at this. So, what's being discussed is with this false person. Wow. Something is happening with this false person. I'm getting ready to pull some more of my um, Kipper deck cards. The false person is this um, other person that's coming out in the reading, which is the Queen of Swords, um, the Empress in Reverse. But y'all, y'all know the false person is also the karmic soulmate. Okay. Now, when you look at the false person here, look at this. Your person has been definitely wearing the blindfolds for this person. All right. This is a lot of seductive um, energy here and passion. Okay. So your person was blinded to me by passion, by lust. All right. A lot of ego based um energy here in this picture here so this is what happened so whatever's taking place in this family room um 
your person here uh, definitely is it's, it's in related to the gift, which is you, okay, and this person. Oh, look, it's a proceeding that's happening. So it was a decision that's being made here, okay? So when the courthouse card comes out, it really is talking about um, a, a, a fair decision, okay? An honest decision that's being made when it comes to this, which also reminds me of the justice card, now that I think about it. I just got the Kipper deck, y'all, so I've been really focusing on learning it, and now I'm starting to be able to connect the dots to what they, you know, because each each card to me, each deck of cards may have different stuff on there, but they're so closely related to tarot, traditional tarot. Thank you. <clears throat> this is what's bringing about these changes is this proceeding here whether this is spiritual coil or not or not here okay it's happening yep journey card that's completion the number 10 is on that card that cycle is ending the cycle is ended we've seen the death card your person will end it right but they still got to get out of the, the sneaky energy here but your person will end it here and they'll get they're getting on path all right so they're they're beginning to see here that it's your gift your goddamn guess and they're gonna miss an opportunity here if they keep fooling with this false person all right now some of your people could be coming from a distance look at this you may be a mature woman all right but some of your people may be coming from a distance um don't have to be some may have to get on a train or plane or whatever to travel towards you doesn't have to be right but however right you guys will um meet back up is what's coming to me mature woman so some of you may be a much they're coming towards you yep. it's a message that's getting ready to come towards you too as well okay tell me about this message here on here it's like somebody writing a letter but we know ain't nobody writing no damn letters no more this may be a text message maybe an email <laughs> but however it is it's a message that's going to be sealed now your person took some time to um will be taking some time to write it <clears throat> thank you what is this message about you you the main female shit <laughs> you the main female you the main john hold on come on tell us more about this main female here. tell us about this main female here. <clears throat> Again, here we go. They got a lot of high regards for you, okay? So, all sevens, that's still about completion here. But they're like in prison, basically clouded in their judgment, right? They're just in their own head here. Um, but it's some changes that's taking place. Again, number nine is because they've been doing some self-reflecting here, all right? So... They're clouded in their judgment or they may feel restricted here um, when it comes to making these changes here. But it's still a message that's going to come towards you. Thank you. I'm about to pull another deck here to see what this is about. <clears throat> okay, so I have a wealthy man. So your person may be either coming in as being um, mature and well-established here or they could be. Right? Or this could be a new person, but I don't see that being a new person for some odd reason. Your person may be younger than you possibly, um, and you may be the mature woman. But however, um, what is this about here? They're the official person spirit had to tell me. So that's your person. Okay? Thank you. <clears throat> All right, so I just seen two cards that flashed upon me, okay? But these same two cards have been coming out in quite a few readings, and the cards that keep coming to me is the bad health and the child. So whatever the message is, it has something to do with a child, all right? Something that they have been toiling and laboring over um, about, right? That has been keeping them restricted in their mind. So whatever has happened with this child here, um, someone had to go to the hospital here for this child, Okay. Um, whether this child here is a small child here, but 
someone had to go to the hospital for this child. All right, and something happened with that child, and it says bad health. So whatever happened with that child, um, led to something that could have been bad. Maybe if that empress was pregnant, yep, died. Okay, so somebody that's the coffin. So that's like the death, the rebirth part. Maybe this uh empress in reverse, this person who they have a family by a third party situation. Y'all know what I'm saying. May have gotten um, may have lost the baby. I guess that's the better way to say it. They may have lost the baby or had an abortion or miscarry or something here. Okay. But that's what's ending that situation with um, your person in that karmic situation they got going on. That's where the ending is coming in at. All right. So, of course, that's giving them the opportunity to come in to rebirth you guys connection here um if you want it they're coming in as the main male in the mature man so this is your person you're the main woman as well in the mature woman look at this this is y'all too y'all y'all both mirroring each other's energy and on top of that here um they have grown so they have went from you know this but even though this is an older person they matured through this they've learned their lesson so the proceeding is here is now that they're able to come forward and move in towards you because they do hold you with high honor okay they have been thinking about you tremendously these are a lot of thoughts here um and they've been doing a lot of thinking about what's the next thing to do all right and they're trying to get creative with this as well um some of you my fellow light workers may be artists may like to paint and what they've been thinking here is they want to date you that's why I said they're coming in as knights. So maybe it's something here. They're going to come in here and court you. This is the courtship. Maybe you may have never dated. Maybe you guys may have just been friends with benefits, right? And never actually dated each other um, to form a type of relationship here. But they've been thinking about making these changes. Um, it's been concerning them a whole lot. Because this is a major step for them. It's just that they had those restrictions there. Yep, the concern card. I seen it, um, but I didn't take it. So that's why I spoke it, but it still came up. <clears throat> expectations. So you do have certain expectations. Um, and this is what they're thinking about. All right. And that also leads to completion. So you do have certain expectations here um, when it comes to this. And they're, and they're thinking about that because I, when you're coming in like this, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm. I have high expectations. I'm not accepting less than, less than nothing. You know, I can't accept the bullshit. And they hold you with high honor, and that is why they're so fearful about coming in here, because they don't want to create or keep doing the same mess. As you can see here, again, you got an empress in reverse. So they're gaining some awareness of this, okay? And because they've been so emotionally withdrawn here, there's balance that's being brought into this so that they can gain the awareness of what's happening in your situation. And on top of that, being the magician, realizing that they have the tools already to, um, to manifest this or to guide them, right? They just need to learn how to use them. And because they have so many obstacles and challenges here, they don't realize here that they have so much support because this is a divine connection here. <clears throat> Your person goes through a whole lot here. But um I'm you know, I'm telling you here that it once you continue to uh put that energy back into you, right? Keep doing that. Keep loving on yourself. Keep putting yourself first here. <clears throat> Your person will level up, and this is what's happening. That's why you got to worship the uh, inner goddess within you without apology. Because as you do that, your person grows and elevates and comes out of this stuck energy. Because as a twin flame, they mirror your energy. They are you. And this is what helps them to elevate even more, even further than where they were at. And then they go into their emperor status here. Okay? They're going to let go of the past regardless. Right? That cycle... That difficult cycle they had there with this um, third-party situation is coming to an end, all right? You'll get to rejoice. You'll get to celebrate, Spirit is saying, that's coming in um, for you. you having these changes. These are major breakthroughs um, at this point. Now, I wanted to pull from somewhere real quick. Hold on, y'all. And then I, because we had 50 minutes with this. Thank you. 
thinking. What do we have here? I might look it up if it's working. <clears throat> it's your lucky day. <laughs> It's a change coming in for you, okay? Whether this is new love, whether this is a new career, <laughs> promotion, whatever, it's change coming in for you. Your person has to embrace that inner child, right? But the, for the most part, y'all get ready to rekindle this relationship, okay? Look, the four Gabriel is talking about, this usually a twin flame part two. It's like the four wands in traditional tarot, but it talked about time to celebrate, right? You'll have that time to celebrate, rejoice, and celebrate. Um, that card leads to marriage, uh, public um, celebrations, whatever, you know, whatever that could be here. You'll have that time to do that. And this is all being guided by spirit, okay? Now, um, they're releasing themselves from that burden, burdensome situation here, all right? Look, <laughs> yo, all of this is good. I wish y'all could see the cards. I know I don't have a good setup where I can show y'all the cards. Um, but literally a positive new emotional experience is coming to y'all. This is about to be a more fulfilling romantic relationship, something that's deep, something that's lasting, something that's spiritual. All right. Why? Cause this is a divine union. Y'all, y'all really is on y'all stuff today. I know you needed to hear some of that, right? Because a lot of times our main concerns usually be about our counterparts, right? Um, but for the most part, look, this is your life purpose. Your person here, <laughs> y'all are supposed to be together again because you have a spiritual journey. It's a part of your life purpose. This is why this person is in your life. Wow. You can ask the divine or you can ask Archangel Michael to help you to be aligned with your goals, okay? And to clearly guide your actions here, all right? Um, and to take the best steps to fully manifest exactly what you want, okay? Now, positive thoughts create positive results. So make sure you stay in a positive mindset because like attracts like. And have a sense of humor, okay? Try to laugh this off, even though it is a heavy situation. But when you see the humor in the situation and laugh, um, then you start to see the healing takes place. All right, so when you're in this lighthearted energy, you will attract love, right? And you'll attract that healing energy. Now, just believe and trust is also what I'm getting. Before you go to sleep tonight, just say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace the fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Anything else here? And your home is protected. All right, so you got so much protection around you, around your, your union that you have here um, by angels, okay? Watching over you and everyone who's a part of it, all right? So just if you've been worrying about that, you are protected, okay? Even when it comes to your finances, you can easily afford to pay your rent, your bills, your mortgage, your taxes, your car note, whatever it is, spirit is saying, like you're protected. Why? Because you're on your path of your life purpose. And when you align with your life purpose, then the universe co-creates with you and everything comes and falls into place, literally, where you may feel like you don't have a dime in, in, in your pocket. And then all of a sudden you got the money to cover whatever bill you need. That's how it works when you align with your life purpose, okay? All right, y'all. So, I think I'm going to end it at that. Um, I think I have exhausted all of my cards here. Hold on. Let me try a Moonology deck because the other cards are more for, like, twin flame readings. But can you give me a closing message? Which this was kind of sort of like a twin flame reading, but not. But not. You're, you are very close to achieving your goals. And right now, it may seem like the emotions are running high, of course, but don't waver, okay, in your faith whatsoever because you are so close. All right, you can literally wake up tomorrow morning and you achieve your goal. All right, so I love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys again for being so patient through some of the interruptions. But however, y'all know how it is, especially when you work from home and you got children. All right, so y'all have a blessed um, Mother's Day for those of you who are mamas and also um, a happy Sunday. Peace.